What's up guys, Baker here. Today I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about Element 3D Fog. I know it's not a new plugin, but uh, recently someone asked me, how do I make my Element 3D objects blend in the scene so nicely and avoid making them look like they don't really fit or belong or blend in the scene enough? So here's a quick little preview of what I'm going to show you guys. It's going to be a simple and quick tutorial, but I think it is pretty nice in making your text look awesome or objects or whatever you're placing. So, got some foggy text here. Let's jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and reset my element. First thing you want to do is if you have any sort of uh, shiny text or something that's reflective, you want to take your clip and duplicate it and freeze frame it pretty much anywhere but I chose out here because uh, the text is outside and this is the closest frame that's you know outside so and then uh, create your text layer with your text I just got I just got some foggy text cool go to your element 3d set up your custom text layer to your foggy text and your custom texture to your frozen clip let's jump into the scene setup and extrude and we got our awesome foggy text I think we are done that's it alright see you next week alright so let's throw on some uh, preset bevels here so that looks pretty cool but it's you know it's silvery and that doesn't match our scene let's go to environment and choose our custom uh, freeze frame now we're talking alright I'm gonna go ahead and accept the default values for now and click OK and we can see our text down here. That's not in the right spot, so let me move this. All right, that looks like it's sitting right outside the uh, the window thing here, this wall. But you know, from far away, if you look at this, you know, this text is really dark, and the whole scene it's kind of faded as you get far away. You know, there's smoke and some, I don't know if this is fog or what, but it just, it sticks out pretty bad. So, Elements got this cool feature. It's a fog feature that helps you blend objects based on uh, spatial distance to the camera and whatnot. So, if you go down to render settings, we got the fog option. Let's enable the fog. And sample color, I'm just going to pick this, you know, brown kind of color in the background. And right away, you can see it actually starts to blend a little bit but let's see how this really works uh... first let's just change each uh... parameter to zero here and we can kind of see what happens so this color covers the entire element object and if we change the start distance that changes where the fog starts now you can see since the range is zero it's a very sharp cutoff between fog and no fog so if i change the range it'll start to blend it a little bit. So if I go back, you can see the transition between blended and just straight text. Now it is pretty abrupt, so let's increase the fog range, maybe, I don't know, 500. And let's just go back, let's say back here, I wanted it to be clean. So just change your start distance until you can see everything, and just keep scrubbing through, and then look at that. You're far away, it looks you know, it looks like it's in the distance. You start walking towards it, comes into focus. Boom, just like that. A um, couple other tips, I guess. It's not too important for this uh, example because it's going to be fast paced and there could be, you know, motion blur or whatever. But especially if you're working on intros or just something, you know, slow motion. And do you ever see these uh, little, I don't know what these little edge artifacts I guess and it just doesn't look very smooth you know look at that you got this little dashed line and these dots and stuff it's pretty uh, simple to fix this just go to output uh, sampling super sampling just make it two it actually smooths out way nicer and uh, that's just how you get your text to look you know higher quality fit in with the scene and there you go. So the fog feature in Element 3D really helps blend your objects into the scene and makes, you know, makes it look that much better. So 
Super simple, quick tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys used this uh, little trick and whatnot. If you got any questions, hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. Be sure to like and favorite this video. And I think that is it. Alright, peace.